August 13th, 2023, 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake there was fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The Word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were cursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites. There is the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There is the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. 
When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord.